we've got a little job here to do which is to make a couple of little brackets which are stainless steel um, and it's just a flat piece with a tube that we've got to weld on the top of that and stainless is a bugger it would have been a nightmare trying to get a weld in here and it, that weld would have just bent this plate horrible so the second option would have been to just put a little tack weld across the end there and there mm, might have worked but what I'm going to have a go at doing is welding it through here just just fill these little holes up with weld and that should be plenty strong enough to fix a tube. Downside to that is going to be that the weld is likely to come through here and we'll get these horrible lumpy bumpy things that you get with stainless on the back side of the weld. I can't purge this. I haven't got the gear to do it and it's going to be right fiddly to do anyway even if I did have. So I'm going to try and do this with some solar flux. Um, first step though these are these have just been made from scrap which is stuff that we had lying around the tube was a pain because it had to be bored from solid but yeah we had it I had a little piece that long so drilled the hole pied it off we've got the two pieces that we need this stuff it's just come out of the scrap drawer it's uh, dull polish as they call it, grained finish on the top here and it was plastic coated but because it's been lying around so long you peel the plastic off and it's got the glue is left so first job is to clean the glue off it and I hope that um, this stuff is going to do the job Zitras Reiniger. It's yeah, recommended for cleaning glue off of labels, so we'll give that a go. That seems to have done the trick. I think I might wipe this over with some uh, some alcohol as well. Well, maybe not. It doesn't look too bad actually. I think that'll be fine. Scrape some paper off the tissue, which is a bit of a nuisance. We've still got a bit of something going on there. Not that it matters for what these are, they're going outside, they're just to stays to hold hold a door open. One piece is going on the, the door and the other piece is going on the, the wall I think. And then there's gonna be a connecting rod dropped in the in the tubes, which we haven't made yet. Yeah, that'll do. That's nasty burr on those holes. I'm going to clean that off a smidge, and um, then we'll get the solar flux sorted. So 
So here's our solar flux made in the USA. I actually uh, bought this in the States and had them ship it over to me. It was actually cheaper than getting it from someone over over in the UK selling it, but yeah, cheaper to buy in the States and have it shipped. Um, yeah, the unique backup flux for welding stainless steels. So they recommend mixing it with methanol, which I don't have. So we use Isopropanol. I haven't used this for ages. Has it gone hard? I hope not. No, nope, that's still good. And we've only got a tiny little job to do, so we're just going to use a tiny little and probably do this. a propanol there is some in this bottle let me go oh, come on and mix to a creamy paste and as per usual Got too much liquid going on. I have to put some more paste in there to uh, thicken it up a bit. Oh, hum. too much paste in and it's now too thick again. Oh my gosh. Let's see. No. And I'll try and put a tiny drop of alcohol in it and it'll be too much again. Let's see. That's possibly all it needs. Should do us. Yeah, I think so. And the idea of this is we've got to coat the inside of the tube where we're going to weld it. That's going to be fun getting that in there, isn't it? I'm going to do that, I wonder. Probably work, that should work. Mind you, I've now got to turn this upside down. I will see. Let's try and get some in the other one. position. God, I see that in there? Well, that's the plan. Check the instructions again. I don't know if we need to let this dry out or whether we just go ahead and weld it. Let's have a look. OK. 
Okay, thoroughly, thoroughly mixed to form a thin paste. Consistency of thick cream. Permit mixture to stand for several minutes. Okay. Apply a good even coat to the backside of seam. Well, we've not got a seam as such, but we just don't want the backside of the of the inside of the tube to uh, bubble up. Well, let's see. So, tube in a V-block, plate on top, and all we've got to do is weld in those holes. Easy peasy. Ha! <coughs> well, that's the second one done. I managed to do the same thing as on the first one. Actually got the... I had the arc a bit too hot running a bit, a bit over 40 amps and probably should have been a bit under downside of not having a foot pedal um, but yeah I don't think that's okay. that's too bad I think they'll be okay um, and this is the flux fill out the inside of the first one which is here and Too bad. I think there's a tiny little bit of um, burn through in the tube, but uh, yeah, I think the flux has done its job. And what it does, I'll just pop that up there. When I was running too high, I actually burned a hole in the made the hole in the plate bigger, um, ended up having to fill it in and this here is the kind of nasty blobbiness that you get coming out the back of a piece when you're welding stainless um, and that's what would have gone on inside the tube but uh, no I think that's, that's not too bad, that's fairly clean in there, that's cool. If we look at the other one, can we see? Oh, we can't see. The flux has dried off, dried up and fallen off. So, nice and clean. Happy with that. We'll see if we can clean this. Oh, we've got a bit of the same thing going on where I've opened up the hole on the back. So, the inside of the tube is nice. By the side of the tube, not so great, but uh, it'll do the job. We can clean that up. And the back side, that's going up against the wall anyway, so no one's going to see that. Not too shabby. Could have been better, but... Uh, no, I'm, I'm okay with that. I think I'll be okay with it as well. <laughs>